So why wouldn't there, as we have a Stanley Cup champion crowned, why would we not, during that process, as the game is ending and the Panthers are being awarded the Stanley Cup, why wouldn't there be coyote drama? So the land auction that was supposed to take place on June 27th that was canceled because they wanted uh, Morello, Morello and his group to get a special use permit before going through with the auction. Well, they didn't do that, which apparently getting one of these permits is kind of a long process. Well, the auction was canceled on, I think, Friday. And news broke. As the Stanley Cup final, Game 7, is finishing up and the Cup is being awarded, sources come out and say that Alex Morello is done. He's walked away. He's basically, he's, he's walked out. He has basically said, I don't want nothing to do with this franchise. I don't want nothing to do. I'm, I'm done with Arizona. I'm, I'm just, I'm done. So, so Flo, so Arizona, a lot of Arizona fans, I guess they're getting their wish because he's, he's, he's gone. He's, he's, he's walked out. He's giving up his, his ownership of the the deactivated Arizona Coyotes. Now, one thing because I was watching the little uh, another it was another little emergency broadcast of PHNX Sports, you know who and they're the ones who are closest, you know, closest, you know, have closest ties to the situation and. And yeah, it's it's interesting because apparently not only is he basically saying, "Yeah, I'm I'm out. I'm I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this anymore." But apparently, he is going to hang on to the Tucson Roadrunners. Now, some people might go and ask, "Why would he hang out to the Tucson Roadrunners?" Because apparently. In the next couple of years, he has he he has an arena that is being built in Reno, Nevada. That apparently, if he hangs on to the Tucson Roadrunners, he apparently has plans to eventually take the Tucson Roadrunners and get them out of there and move them to Reno. So Arizona won't even have an AHL franchise potentially in the next couple of years. So yeah, very interesting. And of course, my first thought was, okay, what happens to the what happens to the name? What happens to what happens to the trademark of the name and the logo? Nobody nobody knows that yet. Not, I mean, Craig, not even Craig Morgan knows exactly what is, you know, what's going on with that. That's the kind of thing where, you know, further reporting is going to have to, is going to have to, uh, you know, happen. But it, it kind of makes me wonder if Morello is just walking away from the team, why would he hang on to the, why would he hang on to the trademarks? What what good what good is the Arizona Coyotes name and logo going to do for him? You know what what's he what's he going to do? Make his own merchandise with Arizona Coyotes stuff on it? I don't think with with the way everything went down, I don't think he really wants anything to do with Arizona anymore. So why would he hang on to the trademark? I don't know unless he you know, unless I guess he goes and says to the league, "Hey, I you know here's." You know, you guys can have the you guys can have the name and logo back, 
or just send them back to, to Arizona and let them hang on to the to the the name and logo. I don't know. But apparently what this does is it opens the door that it opens the door now for some other group. If there is another group that wants to potentially come in and take over this site, get this special use permit and take over this site and get it zoned for an arena, they could potentially be in the normal expansion process. So that whole five year window, I think, I think the whole five year window thing goes away because we're just, we're not quite sure when the NHL plans on expanding again. We do know they're going to expand again. And here's the other thing. If Arizona does get, if, if, if they do find an owner who wants to actually build a building and will be committed to building a building there in Arizona to get a team back, billion dollar expansion fee? No. Nope. Because from what I was hearing, what the NHL potentially is eyeing, especially with the more revenue that they're bringing in and the fact that their, their revenue is going up and franchise values are on the rise. You want an expansion team. Well, you want to, you want to get in on the NHL, huh? Okay. You know, you want to, you want to be an expansion team. Okay. Oh, well, billion dollars. No, nope. Rumor. You want to be an expansion team. You better be ready to pony up two billion dollars. Two billion with a B. Two billion dollars? Good lord! But that's the thing. That's what some of these some of these teams are going to be worth. When the when the time comes and the NHL decides they're going to expand again, which they are going to do that. Because apparently Atlanta wants in. I still, I'm still, i still not sold on Atlanta because they've already had two bites at the apple and they both failed. But again, they had bad ownership groups too. Uh, maybe Atlanta can work. I don't know. $2 billion might, you know, might basically take Quebec completely out of the running because, damn, that's a, tough, that's a lot of money. $2 billion. Oh, man. So that's what kind of makes me wonder. Is there a group in Arizona that would that would pony up two billion billion with a B for 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 any for anybody as I'm probably you know letting my age know here? Dr. Evil, Austin Powers, two billion dollars. Wow! That's apparently what the what what the going rate will be for an expansion team in the future. I don't know. I don't know if Arizona if there's anybody in Arizona that would be willing to pony up that kind of money. But it opens the door though. Now that Morello is is gone and walked away, basically. It opens the door now for any other group that wants to get a hold of this land, zone it the right way, build a building, and maybe somehow try to be successful. To me, this still isn't going to happen for at least probably a decade, at least about at least probably another 10 years before Arizona gets another team. Now, here's the other thing, though. With the uncertainty of the name, the trade, the, the trademarks for the name and the logo, even as Craig Morgan said, you might get a group that's that's like, you know, we don't really, you know, the, the coyotes, the coyotes name and logo, eh, it's got a little bad, little, little, you know, a little, little, little bad juju going on here, as Craig Morgan, you know, that's kind of what he said. 
and have said, you know, maybe we don't want to be the Coyotes. Maybe we'll try to come up with a different name. That's entirely possible. That is entirely possible. I'm not sure what you could, what you would name them. But again, there'd be plenty of time to figure that out because I don't think you're going to see a team in Arizona for at least 10 years probably now. But it's crazy, though, that just a couple days after the land auction is canceled, Morello finally decides, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Which makes a lot, which will, which makes a lot of people in Arizona very happy, because they did not like this guy. But if you look at the whole fiasco in Arizona, they moved there from Winnipeg in 1996. When I graduated high school, is when they moved to Arizona. The NHL. did not do very well in finding any type of owner that was worth that was really worth a damn in Arizona they all were garbage every bit of it which surprised me that they were there for that long because every ownership group was just horrible and morello is just the latest the latest, the the latest in the last, the, the latest guy in line when it comes to horrible ownership groups. And now that he's that he's out, this basically puts a clean slate for anybody, any other group that maybe potentially wants to bring hockey back to Arizona. And uh, you know, we'll have to see what happens and. We'll obviously have to see what happens when it comes to the trademark for for the logo, for the name, for you know all that. But uh, but yeah, so I figured I would uh, come on and and do this, even though you know it is relatively early in the morning. What time is it in here in the morning? Yeah, it's a little. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, my computer's a little goofy. <laughs> yeah, my computer's a little goofy. My 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 time on my computer on my on one of my screens is a little goofy. It's about two hours off. Interesting, but but I figured I would just I'd, I'd come on and and talk a little bit about this and say that a lot of a lot of Arizona a lot of a lot of Arizona hockey fans I think are going to be pretty happy now. They will not have to worry about Alex Morello. Although, for fans of the Tucson Roadrunners, yeah, you might as well enjoy them while you can because in the next couple of years, they're probably going to be in Reno, Nevada. <laughs> so, Arizona not only loses the professional team thanks to Alex Morello, but it looks like thanks to Alex Morello, they're going to lose their AHL team too. So, let me know, though, what you guys think. Is this good for Arizona that Morello's finally gone? Do you think he's going to give up the trademark to the name and the logo? I'm not exactly sure. I know I want to kind of keep an eye on that to see. But uh, let me know, though, what you guys think. Because it's you know makes for kind of an interesting story. But... Uh, Again, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Arizona gets a team back? And if you do, what's the timetable? What do you think the timetable will be? Do you think they'll get one and back in the next decade? Will there will would there be a team would there be a group that would want to pay potentially two billion dollars for a fran for an expansion franchise? Because that might be what a new ownership group in Arizona might have to do. Let me know, though, what you guys think about that. Uh, please, please hit that like button. That would be greatly appreciated. You know, it doesn't take, doesn't take very long, you know, to hit that little hit that little thumbs up. 
that would be greatly appreciated. Also, it doesn't take doesn't take very long either. You know, a little, you know, just a little finger tap. You know, hit that subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, I, I'm very, very grateful for every subscriber that I have. And uh, and yeah, you know, as I've, you know, it's a little over a little over 15 minutes here talking about this, but uh, but let me know what you guys think. Alex Morello finally walks away. And now we'll see what the future of Arizona hockey is. Not exactly sure what the future holds, but, you know, we'll find out. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'll see you all later.